Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to New York's JFK International Airport for the local time of 6.30 a.m. We will be taxiing for a few moments, so please remain seated with your seatbelts to be fastened with your My name is Kelly Clark, and I'm a professional snowboarder. Kelly goes bigger than a lot of guys in the half pipe. She goes bigger than I go in the half pipe, that's for sure. Whenever I watch Kelly and she's going like as big as the dudes, you know, I'm just like, dude, that chick is awesome. Probably at times she goes bigger than me. Off the record, of course. Please stay in your seat until the captain turns off the seatbelt sign. Red eye fly, but I never fell asleep last night. And everything's new and everything glows here brighter than TV. But I can taste it, I can touch it, I can feel my heart go oh, oh. The Olympics are definitely the uh, pinnacle of a competitive snowboarder's career. I won the Olympics when I was 18 in 2002 in Salt Lake City. You know you've made it when. <laughs> I was living the dream, you know, every, every kid that dreams about being a pro snowboarder, I had it made. On the flip side of it, on the inside, I wasn't really satisfied because no matter what I did, nothing was fulfilling me, even all the success that I could strive for. Um, and I think about two years went by and I was at my first event in Utah. I was in my hotel room that morning and I was just writing in my journal and I was kind of, I was kind of at the end of it. I was kind of done and I was writing about, you know, if I, if I didn't wake up tomorrow, like I was fine with that. And I didn't think anybody cared about me. And I didn't think anybody would care if I didn't wake up tomorrow. And I just thought, was, was writing about how if this was what life was, like if that's what it was, like I was done with life. And that same day, you know, I had qualifiers for some event, and, um, you know, so I go out and do my snowboard thing, and it's going really well. This girl came down, because she had crashed twice, and her friend was like, hey, it's all right, God still loves you. Just hearing that statement gave me this hope that, like, God loves you. Maybe God loves me. That's something. I found out the girl who had made the comment was staying in my hotel. So I went to her hotel room, knocked on the door, and I said, hey, my name's Kelly. I think you might be a Christian, and I think you need to tell me about God. I thought being a Christian was about going to church, and I thought it was about following rules, and I thought it was about being good all the time. And she's like, hey, you know, it's about relationship. It's not about religion. I took the next, you know, four or five months just kind of like, hey, God, like, Show me that you're real. This is something that's amazing, but I need to know that I know that I know. And sure enough, God met me over the next, you know, four or five months. I was surrounded by people who could help me understand, you know, who God was and how it looked to have a relationship with him. Before I became a Christian, my whole life was snowboarding. I, you know, I was Kelly Clark, pro snowboarder, and snowboarding was a, a really huge part of my identity. It was what I pulled from for my self-worth. And um, it's a pretty fragile thing to have your identity in. Up until that point in my life, my identity was just in my snowboarding. And it just began to shift, you know, to, to being loved and having that be my identity. You know, you can say my identity is in, in Jesus and as a daughter of God. And, all this different stuff, but I just think the simplest way I can understand it is that like I'm loved and that I know that I know that I know. Mm -hmm. 